Hey guys, what's up? Kinda ended that uh, third video where we were polishing up this edge and uh, just kinda left you guys on a little cliffhanger. I thought it'd be funny to leave it like that, but uh, going back and watching it again, there's a few more things I want to explain to you guys. And uh, being funny versus informative, I'd rather uh, let you guys know the information. Uh, and maybe you're not even hanging out for this fourth video in the series. I know I'm going to hear crap. You can get 15 minute long videos. I'm not going to put any 15 minute videos out anymore. I'll do two parts. They just don't load long and you guys need pee breaks and beer breaks and all that stuff. I don't like watching 15 minute long videos. So anyways, so you've seen me stropping up that Michael Breville. So right here we were stropping your regular primary bevel. Okay, had to get that in focus. So hopefully it's in focus. So this is the primary bevel. Okay, then you raised up primary, and then you raised up just a little bit for that micro bevel. And again, this only needs about three strokes of the knife weight only. You're stropping that micro bevel. Okay, here's the more information I didn't want to end that other video with, looking back at it. If you do this too many times, and you put too much pressure on this micro bevel, you will screw your whole sharpening sessions. And the strop will actually, um, like fingers, okay, say my, say this is the knife blade. If I'm stropping too hard, the strop actually comes up like this. And that strop wraps around your edge and will dull it. So very, use very, very light strokes on that micro bevel. Very important, you push too hard, you're going to peel up that leather and it's going to it's going to actually dull your edge. So, not many strokes on that micro bevel, very light and not too many cuz even light strokes you do that enough you're going to dull your edge. You don't want to do that. Very, very important. I would almost rather that you did not strop that micro bevel than to push too hard. If your first time you've ever stropped your micro bevel, if you think you're doing it too light, that's exactly right. You, you use zero pressure at all on that micro bevel. And that's what I didn't stress enough in that last video, the third video, where I just kind of cut it short. That's it, guys, and I uh, hope you enjoyed it. And again, my techniques, they work for me and may not work as well for you. I think they will with a little bit of practice. And sharpening is not really about your equipment. There's all kinds of high dollar Japanese water stones. There's all kinds of debate, other um, ceramic versus diamond. You can see though, I don't really have a lot of sharpening stuff. And you can get results. You can get a sharp knife without a lot of high tech equipment. You, know, you just gotta practice and kinda put your mind to it. And maybe an instructional video like this can help you realize that hair whittling knife. And uh, maybe we'll try to do another video uh, with some hair whittling in it. Maybe. You have to excuse me, guys. I'm in the bathroom. A piece of my lovely wife's hair. Just pull it off her brush. So let's let's give this micro bevel a few more runs. Hopefully I'm not boring you and hopefully we can do this on camera. We're gonna attempt to whittle some hair. Now I record all my videos on my iPhone 4, believe it or not. So I don't know if it's gonna pick up this hair whittling. If we can get it to do it. Let's try to bring you guys in closer. Yes, we are in the bathroom. Alright. So 
So this is how you know you have a sharp knife. Hopefully I can get it to do it and I don't look like a jackass. Did you see that? This is the weight of the hair alone. Let's see if you can see that right there. Yeah. Weight of the hair. Oh, we just cut it. That is a sharp, sharp ass knife. So that's not me even like pushing the hair down. That's the weight of the hair alone. Watch this in HD. This is uploaded in HD. You're gonna have to click the HD setting. This hair is kind of messing me up because we've already. Here we go. Let me try to get a focus. As you can see it not too bad for a cell phone so hey guys there it is the whittling of the hair and I'll show you uh, how to do that if you're catching this video go back and you haven't watched the other three videos go check that out uh, it seems like this uh, CTS XHP is pretty damn good stuff it takes a very nice polish you see my fingerprints on there And we showed you how to do all this freehand in the four videos. And again, this is the little bit of factory edge that's left over because I did not want to remove that much steel from the entire edge to make this go away. Hey guys, thanks a lot for hanging out with me. If you've watched this fourth video, you're damn near uh, 40 minutes into it. So I, I really, really, really appreciate you guys' time, comments, subscriptions, Please tell your friends, other knife nuts, about this channel. And this is not just me being selfish and wanting to be a rock star or anything like that. Okay? This is going to be kind of a rant. Uh, the more subscriptions you have, the, the more uh, your name comes up in the search. And again, that's not nothing to be selfish about for me. Um, that's just uh, letting this channel get out and the information and just kind of... Uh, um, I don't know, lets me know that I can invest more money into this project because uh, I just got to be real honest. All these guys you see unboxing all these knives and reviewing and doing the kind of stuff that I just did for you takes a lot of time. A lot of time, a lot of setup. And uh, it's, it's really fun, don't get me wrong, but it's just, it's a lot of work. So, uh, by subscribing, you're telling me that you appreciate that, and um, it shows up more when um, people go to search out like knife sharpening. The series of videos will be right at the top of the page. So, uh, anyways, guys, I can't do it without you, and I really appreciate everything. Can't stress that enough. And uh, you guys are so awesome. Appreciate it. Have a good one. We'll see ya.